Okay, hello. Today we're going to make a steam powered engine boat thing. Okay. So, what you need first, you need some tea light candles. You're gonna need mighty bond. You're gonna need a cutter. And you're gonna need a. You're gonna need this. You're gonna need any plastic bottle and some copper tubing, either one fourth or one eighth inch in diameter. For mine, I used one fourth inch because I couldn't find any one eighth. All right. So, and some duct tape too. You always need duct tape. All right. So, making this boat is extremely simple. All you have to do is from this thing you could you just cut it with the cutter so like that so this goes off and now you have the frame of the boat you just put it on and it floats now what you do with the copper tubing you have to take a cylindrical object and wrap it around it so it becomes something like this this is going to serve as your engine. Now, what you do, you gotta poke some holes at the back of your boat. That's where the tubes come out. And then you just put it inside like this. And then, so what you do, you get some tea light candles and then you put it right under. So you're gonna have something like that. Okay. All right. So after you put your candles, uh, you, the option whether you want to mighty bond them or not, because uh, sometimes your bi your boat might be unstable, but it won't be because it's gonna move pretty slowly. Now the final step in making your boat is to put water inside this tube. Uh, the reason why we'll explain it later basically to do this easily all you have to do is just get a mouthful of water and then you you just blow it through the tube until it fills but, but make sure when it fills you cover both both ends and then so, so once you blow you cover and then you submerge it that ensures that the water stays in place because if it's water inside, water outside just stays water. engine basically you have the heat source which is the candle in this case and the engine which is our copper tubing now since this copper tubing is full of water when you light the candle and put it right under it the copper tubing absorbs heat through radiation from the candle so it heats up and what happens there is the water inside evaporates and turns into steam. Now when this happens due to the excitement of the particles, the rapid movement of the gas pushes the water outside. Now, now what happens here, uh, as, it, as it exits the tubing, it leaves behind a, a, a vacuum. Now since there is a vacuum and it's surrounded by water, the water is uh, sucked back in and now the cycle repeats. So just to repeat it, heat, evaporation, vacuum, water, repeat. So basically that's how a steamboat works. When the steam pushes the water out, it creates a propulsion motion and that's what, that's what drives the boat forward. 
That's it. Thank you for watching my how to make a steamboat video. Enjoy.